Hello, hi Ken. Yes. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. So he must be an experienced person. Very good. Now in this lesson, Ken, we will be practicing about the word must plus the verb plus a lot. Okay? Okay. Like for example, a lot means often in okay. the mm. text. Okay? Mm. So like for example, she's always in the kitchen, so she must cook a lot. Okay. Next would be must plus be verb plus adjectives or noun. So for mm. example, he helps anyone. So he must be kind or he must be a kind person. Okay? Okay. Understand? Yes. Okay, great. Okay, now let's move on. Now let's have new words and expressions. Okay, follow me. Basically. Basically. I basically like everything. I basically like everything. Fried food. Fried food. I like fried food. I like fried food. Okay. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Okay. Wisdom. Wisdom. He is a man of wisdom. He is a man of wisdom. Okay. Discuss. Discuss. Okay. I can discuss anything with him. I can discuss anything with him. Okay. Experienced. Experienced. He must be an experienced person. He must be an experienced person. Okay, good. Next. Now, do you have any questions? None so far. Okay. Let's move on to short conversations. Okay. Read the following conversation with your teacher. Okay. I will give you the situation. Emily is asking Aiden about his family visit this evening. Okay? okay. So this time you will be Emily and teacher is Aiden. Okay? Okay. Okay. How is Go your Emily. family? They're good. Mom's always in the kitchen. She practically she practically leaves there. <laughs> she must cook a lot. What's your okay. favorite dish? Mm, chicken fried steak. I basically like fried food. Oh, I hear you. I love that too. Well, how is your dad? He's great. My dad is a man of wisdom. I can discuss anything with him. That's great. He must be an experienced person. He sure is. Okay, let's take turns. Okay, this time you will be Aiden and teacher is Emily. Okay? Okay. Take two. How's your family? They're good. Mom's always in the kitchen. She practically lives there. <laughs> she must cook a lot. What's your favorite dish? Uh, just a moment. Okay. My phone's going. Okay. Uh, hello, sorry for waiting. Okay, no worries. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Let's go back. Okay. Hmm. Here. Uh, let's do it again. Okay. Okay. So, uh, you will be Aiden, teacher is Emily, okay? Okay. How is your family? They're good. Mom's always in the kitchen. She practically lives there. <laughs> she must cook a lot. What's your favorite dish? Hmm. Chicken fried steak. I basically like fried food. Oh, I hear you. I love that too. Well, how is your dad? He's great. My dad is a man of wisdom. I can discuss anything with him. Well, that's great. He must be an experienced person. He sure is. Good. Okay, do you understand? Yes. Okay, that's great. Now let's move on to questions, okay? Okay. Number one question. What kind of person is Aiden's mother? Hmm. She must cook a lot. Okay, she, uh, Aiden's mother. Aiden's mother always in the kitchen. Correct. So, Aiden's mother is always in the kitchen. Okay, number two. What did Aiden say about his favorite dish? Hmm. 
he said his favorite dish was fried food. Okay. Fried food. Okay. Next. Hmm. What kind of person is Aiden's father? Hmm. Uh, he is a man of with wisdom. Okay. He is a man of wisdom. That's correct. He is his man. His dad is a man of wisdom and he can discuss anything with him. Right? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Now let's move on to exercise, okay? Okay. Okay, directions, listen to your teacher, then create an impression using the word must, okay? Okay. Number one, they are always in the kitchen. They must cook a lot. Correct. Okay. Next, Miss Johnson goes to the gym every day. She must exercise a lot. Correct, okay. Allison is always on the phone. Hmm. She she must she she must be talkative. She must she must talk, talk a lot. A lot. <laughs> okay. okay, next. David is always at his office. He must work a lot. Very good. Next. The cat is always in its bed. It must sleep a lot. Okay. Next. Well, good job. Okay, next again. For example, uh, Dr. Oscar always makes his patients feel relaxed. He must be a great doctor. Everybody likes Lisa. She got so many birthday presents today. She must be happy. Correct. Mr. Smith worked all day, all, all day long today and came home at 2 o'clock. He must be tired. Correct. Jack doesn't like to work at all. He must be lazy. Okay. He must be a lazy person. Lazy person, okay. He must be a lazy person, okay. Hmm. Next. Okay, Samantha found a $20 bill on the street. She must be lucky. Very good. Next, the Harrisons have a big house, two cars, and a lot of expensive clothes. They must be rich. There must be be rich okay next hmm. um let's move on yeah do you have any questions not so far and so far okay that's very good okay next let's move on to free conversation okay let's talk okay okay talk about people or things around you and discuss your impressions with your teacher don't forget to mention why you have chose impressions, okay? Okay. Okay. So, what do you want to talk about? Talk about people or things around you? Okay, about my mother. Your mother. What about your mom? Is your mother always in the kitchen? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So, she cooks a lot? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, Ken, are you married? Uh, no, I'm not. Ah, uh, okay. So, how about, yeah, that's your mom. So, how about your dad? What makes your dad busy? Mm -hmm. He he must work a lot. He must work a lot. Mm. Okay. So, you never meet your dad every time? Yeah, I've never meet, met I've never met him every time. Every time. Oh, I see. Okay, so um, how about, do you have any sisters and brothers? I have brother. You have brother. So what makes him busy? Mm, he must work. A lot? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> 
So he must work a lot. How about you, Ken? Do you also work a lot? Hmm. I also work a lot. So, um, so uh, what do you call that? Oh, today you don't have work. Hmm, it's day off. It's day off today. What's your job? Uh, Because you work a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Business person. Ah, uh, uh, is it okay to discuss that thing? Okay. Okay. What kind of business do you have? Is it like a trading, or like me too? Can I have also business outside, aside from native camp? I I hmm. sell secondhand clothes. Sales no person. Second. Salesperson. Yes. Hmm. Okay. And uh, you are like selling something. Yes. Uh, I see. Me too. I'm selling something, mm -hmm. <laughs> clothes and so on. So I also sell. But Ken, is it easy to to work or to have business? Not too easy. So you must work a lot. Yes. <laughs> yeah, from time to time. So, uh, do you have any company? No, I don't. Uh, I see. No, uh, but you own the company. Hmm. You own company. I I I'm employed. Ah, you are just employed. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Next. So that would be a good thing for you. Yeah. Okay. So Ken, I think it's all done for this. This lesson. So, do you have any questions before we will proceed to your next lesson? None so far. None so far. Okay, now let's. Can we proceed to the next lesson, Ken? Yes. Okay, we will go. We will change our book this time. Okay, Ken. So this beginner grammar beginner forty four. That is, you must turn right there. Okay. 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 Today's goal, please read. To be able to talk about obligated and prohibit matters. Okay. Matters. Matters. Okay. Obligated. Obligated. Obligated means your obligations. Okay. 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 Here, to be able to talk about obligated and prohibited matters okay hmm. okay next today's phrases please follow me you must turn right at the next traffic light you must turn right at the next traffic light you must not take a u-turn on this road you must not make a u-turn on this road okay so in this lesson you will be having must and obligated matters and have to okay okay must not uh, Ma must hmm. not prohibited matters equals don't do yeah you will not do it okay okay so that would be a pattern okay mm, okay do you have any questions not so far okay let's move on let's move Okay, let's do the new words and expressions. Follow me. Honey. Honey. I got it, honey. I got it, honey. Directions. Directions. Give me the directions. Give me the directions. Turn. Turn. You must turn right. You must turn right. Traffic light. Traffic light. You must turn right at the traffic light. You must turn right at the next traffic light. Uh, sorry, the next traffic light. Corner. Corner. You must turn left at the next corner. You must turn left at the next corner. U turn. U turn. You must not make a U turn on this road. You must not make a U turn on this road. Okay. Okay, do you have any questions? Not so far. Okay. Next, let's move on to conversation okay 
Okay. Read the following conversation with your teacher, okay? Hmm. Okay. I will give you the situation. Lydia and her husband John are driving a car to go to their friend's house, okay? Okay. So you will be John this time and teacher is Lydia, okay? Are you ready? Okay. Okay. Honey, please give me the directions. Mm -hmm. Sure, you must turn right at the next traffic light. Okay, I got it. Then you must keep to the to the you must keep to the left and turn left at the next corner. Wait, I think I just missed the corner. Can I make a U-turn? No, you must not make a U-turn on this road. Really? That's very inconvenient. It's okay. You can turn left at the next traffic light and go back. Okay? <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's take turns. You will be Lydia and you will uh, I will be John. Ready? Okay. Take 2. Honey, give please give me the direction. Sure. You must turn right at the next traffic light. Okay, I got it. Then you must keep to the left and turn left at the next corner. Wait, I think I just missed the corner. Can I make a U-turn? No, you must not make a U-turn on this road. Really? That's very inconvenient. It's okay, you can turn left at the next traffic light and go back. Very good. Okay, do you, do you understand the yes. conversation? Okay, <laughs> let's move on to the question. Number one, can he make a U-turn there? Why or why not? No, he can't uh, because it's not around. around. It's not? Around. It's not, a, okay. No, because he must not um, I uh, because he must not make a u-turn on that road hmm. or it's not allowed it's okay okay yeah. hmm. next what mistake did John make uh, he mistaked to turn uh, to turn left mm -hmm. there correct he missed the corner okay hmm. that's he missed the corner okay next how can he fix his mistake? Hmm. He can... He can fix his mistake to turn left at the next traffic light. Very good. Okay, he can turn left at the next traffic light and go back, right? Yes. Hmm. Okay, good job. Now let's move on to exercise. Okay. Okay. Directions, look at the following pictures and answer the questions using must and must not. Hmm. Okay, for example, can I go on driving at the sign? Nope, you must stop there. Okay, next, how can I be a top athlete? You must train hard. Correct. Is it okay to sleep in the class? No, you must not sleep in uh, class. Very good. How can we make an excellent product? You must discuss uh, uh, a, lot, a lot of things. You must discuss many things. Many things. Okay, next. Can I talk aloud in the library? No, you must not talk in the uh, library. You must talk l aloud. Ah, aloud. In the yes. library. Mm. Okay. Next. How can I be a great engineer? You must study a lot. Okay, you must study a lot. Okay, can I smoke a cigarette near the sign? No, you must not smoke around the sign you must not smoke mm. near ah, near the near sign. the sign okay next is it okay to lie to others no you must not lie to others very good okay do you have any questions 
than so far. Okay. Now, Ken, let's have free conversation, okay? Okay. Talk about something you must do or something you must not do today. Today, okay. I must study English. <laughs> I think. Why do you want to study English? I need English for my work. Okay, I see. So you need you want you need to communicate, right? Yes. Yeah, with people. Okay. But how about something you must not do today? <laughs> hmm. I must not I must not drink alcohol. Too you must much. not drink hmm. alcohol. Hmm. Too much. Too much. Why? Uh, it's unhealthy. It's unhealthy. Do you always drink alcohol? Mm, sometimes. Okay, sometimes. So, um, after your work. Yeah. But I heard most Japanese men after work, hmm. they always go to drinking place, right? Uh, what do you mean, place? Place, place. Ah, place. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, drinking place. Hmm. Right? Yeah. Okay, so, um, like, how about you? How often do you go? Seldom go. Seldom? So, really? <laughs> hmm. Not often? Not often. <laughs> okay, next. Why must you? I know you already you already answer that, right? Hmm. Why must you? And why must uh, you will not do it? But um, in in your case, you told me that you make you make your life busy for uh, what do you call that? You make your life busy um, for working, right? Hmm. Yeah, but. Um, Talk me talk about something you must do this year for your business. Okay. I I must prom promote me. <laughs> I must. Promo I must be promoted. I promoted. Mm. I must be. I must be promoted. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. You must be promoted. Okay, why? Why you must be? Because I mm -hmm. want to more salary. <laughs> I want to get? I want to get more salary. Okay, more salary. Okay, mm. that's great. Thank you. Okay, now let's move on to... Ah, uh, no more. Do you have any questions? Not so far. Okay. So, Thank are you so satisfied for coming? I hope to see you again next time. Okay? Mm. Have Thank a great day. Thank you so day. much. Bye. Yes, hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. Yes, good afternoon. Can you okay, see? and the title is Review on Lessons 39 to 44. So please repeat after me. Review on Lessons 39 to 44. Review on Lessons 39 to 44. Yes, exactly. All right. Okay, and your other request, you don't need like typing the answers in the chat box. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's have here, please check today's goal. To be able to master the materials in Lessons 39 to 44 and use them comfortably yes very good so let's move on to today's phrases so please repeat after me twice okay okay so let's start would you like to try our new blt burger would you like to try our new blt burger again so would you like to try our blt burger would you like to try our new blt burger this next phrase would you make that would you make that would you make that would you make that yes next phrase shall i make it without bacon 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 yes next shall we shall we go to the dr drive through shall we go to the drive through shall we go to the drive through 
Shall we go to the drive-thru? Yes, and the next one, may I have the burger? 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 Yes, you must turn right. You must turn right. You must turn right. You must turn right. You must not turn left. 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 Yes, you must be a kind person. 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 All right. Okay. So this time, let's move on to new words and expressions. So kindly check the directions. Listen and repeat after your teacher. Yes. All right. So please repeat after me twice. Okay. We have here the first drive through. Drive through. Drive through. Drive through. Yes. For example, Sophia is at the drive through. 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 Yes. Next, BLT. 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 Yeah, so it stands for uh, bacon, lettuce, and tomato. So, for example, would you like to try our new BLT burger? Would you like to try our new BLT burger? Would you like to try our new BLT burger? Would you like to try our new BLT burger? Oh, yes. Next word, without. 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 Shall I make it without bacon? 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 Yes. And the next word, sparkling water. Sparkling water. Sparkling water. Sparkling water. Yes. For example, I'd like a bottle of sparkling water. I'd like a bottle of sparkling water. Yes. I'd like a bottle of sparkling water. I'd like a bottle of sparkling water. Yes. And the last, we have here the expression, I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. Yes. Uh, all right. So, Ken, do you have any questions about the words and expression? Not so far. Yes. All right. Very good. So, let's move on to short conversation. So, again, kindly check the directions. Read the following conversation with your teacher. Yes, all right. So first, let's read the conversation together. So please repeat after me. Okay, so let's start. Sophia is buying lunch at a fast food drive through Sophia is buying lunch at a fast food drive through Yes. Welcome to Quick Bite. Would you like to try our new special BLT burger? Welcome to Quick Bite. Would you like to try our new special BLT burger? Mm, no, I shouldn't because I must eat healthy, so no, thank you. Mm, no, I shouldn't because I must eat healthy, so no, thank you. Yes. Shall I make the BLT burger without bacon? Shall I make the BLT burger without bacon? Really? Would you make that? Well, okay, may I have that one? Really? Would you make that? Well, okay, may I have that one? Yes, ma'am, of course. Would you like anything else today? Yes, ma'am, of course. Would you like anything else to today? Yes, I'd like a bottle of sparkling water, please. That'd be all. Yes, I'd like a bottle of sparkling water, please. That'd be all. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Your total would be $7.25. Yes, ma'am, your total would be $7.21. Yes. Oh, hey, can I make a left turn and get on the road? Oh, hey, can I make a left turn and get on the road? I'm afraid not. You must not turn left on this road and police are everywhere. Please be careful, ma'am. I'm afraid not. You must not turn left on this road and police are everywhere. Please be careful, ma'am. Thank you. You must be a kind person. Thank you. You must be a kind person. Oh, yes. Very good. All right. So, again, Ken, let's read the conversation together. So, please repeat after me. Okay. So, let's start again. Sophia is buying a lunch at a fast food drive-thru. Sophia is buying lunch at a fast food drive-thru. 
Yes. Welcome to Quick Bite. Would you like to try our new special BLT burger? Welcome to Quick Bite. Would you like to try our new special BLT burger? Mm, no, I shouldn't because I must eat healthy. So no, thank you. Mm, no, I shouldn't because I must eat healthy. So no, thank you. Shall I make the BLT burger without bacon? Shall I make the BLT burger without bacon? Really? Would you make that? Well, okay. May I have that one? Really? Would you make that? Well, okay. May I have that one? Yes, ma'am. Of course. Would you like anything else today? Yes, ma'am. Of course. Would you like anything else today? Yes, I'd like a bottle of sparkling water, please. That'd be all. Yes, I'd like a bottle of sparkling water, please. That'd be all. Yes, ma'am. Your total would be $7.21. Yes, ma'am. Your total would be $7.21. Oh, hey. Can I make a left turn and get on the road? Oh, hey. Can I make a left turn and get on the road? I'm afraid not. You must not turn left on this road and police are everywhere. Please be careful, ma'am. I'm afraid not. You must not turn left on this road and police are everywhere. Please be careful, ma'am. Thank you. You must be a kind person. Thank you. You must be a kind person. Yes, very good. All right. So this time, Ken, let's do a role play. So I will be the salesperson and you will be Sophia. Okay. okay let's start. Okay. Sophia is buying a lunch at the fast food drive through Welcome to Quick Bite. Would you like to try our new special BLT burger? Mm, no, I shouldn't because I must eat healthy, so no thank you. Um, shall I make the BLT burger without bacon? Really? Would you make that? Well, okay. May I have that one? Yes, ma'am, of course. Well, would you like anything else today? Yes, I'd like a bottle of sparkling water, please. That'd be all. Yes, ma'am. Your total would be $7.21. Oh, hey. Can I make a left turn and get on the road? I'm afraid not. You must not turn left on this road. And police are everywhere. Please be careful, ma'am. Thank you. You must be a kind person. Yes, very good. Okay, so last part. Let's switch the role. So it's your turn to be the salesperson and I will be Sophia. Okay. okay, so kindly read the situation for me. Sophia is buying lunch at the first food drive through Welcome to Quick Bite. Would you like to try our new special BLT burger? Mm, no, I shouldn't because I must eat healthy, so no, thank you. Shall I make the BLT burger without bacon? Really? Would you make that? Well, okay. May I have that one? Yes, ma'am. Of course. Would you like anything else today? Yes, I'd like a bottle of sparkling water, please. That'd be all. Yes, ma'am. Your total would be $7.21. Yes. Oh, hey, can I make a, U a left turn and get on the road? I'm afraid not. You must not turn left on this road. And police are everywhere. Please be careful, ma'am. Thank you. You must be a kind person. Okay, so we are done with the conversation, so let's move on to question. Okay. Okay, so kindly check the directions. Answer the questions about their story. Yes, all right. So answer the questions about the short conversation. So question number one, what did the salesperson recommend to Sophia? Hmm. The salesperson recommended a new BLT burger to Sophia. Yes, exactly. So the salesperson recommended Sophia or recommended her to try their new BLT burger. Yes, very good. Okay, second question. What did Sophia get at Quick Bite? Mm, she got a new BLT burger and a bottle of sparkling water. Yes, exactly. So she got a BLT burger without bacon and a bottle of sparkling water. Okay, last question, number three. What was Sophia's question about the road and what's the answer she got? Hmm. Uh, she, she, mm. uh, she asked the salesperson if she can 
if she can turn left on that road. Mm. Uh, what's the answer? But uh, she she got she can't. She got. She can't turn. She can turn because. Uh, because uh, it must not turn. Like she must not make a turn because. <laughs> because police are everywhere. Yes, exactly. So she asked if she could make a turn, a left turn, mm. but the salesperson answered that she couldn't make a turn on that road because police are everywhere. Yes. Yes, or we're everywhere, past tense. Yes. All right. You got all the correct answers. Mm. This time, let's move on to exercise. Okay. Okay. So kindly check the direction. Look at the following picture and give the correct sentences. Yeah, so let's start. Let's have the first picture. So, would you like to try no donuts? Sure. Uh, with pleasure. Are you sure? It's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Yeah, so sure I'd like to or sure I'd love to. Okay. okay. Shall we have another cup of coffee? No, I shouldn't drink. Uh, drink. Drink more. Mm, no, uh, I shouldn't drink more coffee. Drink a, a cup of coffee. Oh yes. No, I shouldn't drink a cup of coffee. Oh, why? Because uh, I must sleep tonight. Yes, because I must sleep tonight. Oh, yes. Okay, what's the question? Hmm. May I use your cell phone? Yes, may I use your cell phone? Of course you may. Okay, hey, would you like to go to the new museum today? I'd, uh, yes, I'd like to go there, but I, I wouldn't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'd like to go there, but I can't. Uh, okay, what's the question? Hmm. Uh, would you, would you give me a ride? Yes. Would to, you give me a ride? To my home. Yes. Would you give me a ride to my home? Sure. Is everything all right? I, I have just called my to my sister. She must I just have received a call. Received a call. She must be sick. Yes, I just have received a call from my sister. She must be sick. Oh, that's terrible. I'll take you home right away. Hmm. Oh yeah, so we're done with the first exercise. Let's continue to the second exercise. So again, can please check the direction. Read the following sentences and find a mistake in each sentence. Mm, yeah, so let's do the exercise number one. Mr. Smith, shall I go to the restroom? Yes, you may. May I go to the restroom? Yes, exactly. So Mr. Smith, may I go to the restroom? Yes, you may. Okay, second number, Lisa. Would you like to eat this cake? It looks very delicious. Mm, uh, would you like to eat? Yes, very good. Would you like to eat this cake? Oh, yes, exactly. Okay, third number. You don't must make a U-turn. Mm, you must not make a U-turn. Yes, very good. You must not make a U-turn. Okay, fourth number. Shall we dance to this music? Shall we dance to this music? Yes, exactly. Very good. Shall we dance to this music? Okay, the last number, number five. Would I please close the window? Would you please close the window? Yes, very good. Would you please close the window? 
Oh, yes. Okay, we are done already with the two exercises. Let's move on to the last part, free conversation. Okay. Okay, so kindly check the directions. Hmm. Let's use the phrases and the words you've learned during the lesson and talk about the following topic freely. Hmm, yes. Yeah, so let's start. Okay, imagine that you are the receptionist at the hotel. Have a conversation with the customer and I will be that customer. So, but first, let's read the words in the word bank. So, please repeat after me. Hmm. Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you? Would you like? Would you like? Would you like? Would you like? I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like. Would you like to? Would you like to? Would you like to? Would you like to? I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like to. Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Shall I? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? May I? May I? May I? May I? Must. 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 Must not. Must not. Must not. Must not. And must be. Must be. Must be. Must be. Okay, so this time, so please start. So you will be the receptionist. Okay. Mm. Uh, mm. Would you like some wine? Okay, okay, just a moment. Would you like some wine? Okay, so let's start. Uh, I'd like to have... Uh, uh, Sparkling water instead. Sure. Of course. Yes, sure, of course. Uh, shall I... Shall I wake you up? Uh, shall I? Wake you up in tomorrow morning. As, yes. Yes. <laughs> I must wake up at uh, 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Why would you would you wake me up in that time in that early time again? Three a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, mm. May I know your s cell phone number? Mm, may May I know your yes? Uh, you must not. <laughs> it's, a, it's a personal thing. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> yes, may I know. Or, yes, may I know. Yes, you may. Mm. Mm, okay. What uh, else? You must, you must come back here uh, till um, 10 p.m. Uh, you must, okay. You must come back here at exactly 10 p.m. Hmm. Why? There uh, must be a there must be an emergency during that time. <laughs> uh, okay, mm. another. Okay. Ah, you mm. must you must take 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 dinner at the our restaurant. You uh, must eat. Uh, eat eat dinner. Mm. Yes, you must eat dinner at the in our restaurant. restaurant. At the restaurant or our at our restaurant. Our restaurant until yes. 10 p.m. Mm, so your restaurant will close at 10 p.m. So I'd like to. I love to go there. Yes. Mm, any other example? Uh. All the correct answers in each exercise. Yes. Okay, but then we're running out of time. It's time for me to say goodbye. Have a nice day, Ken. You're doing great. Thank you so See you much. next time. Bye bye. bye. Hello, hi, Ken. Hi. Hello, I'm too so too sorry cold. earlier. Okay, one more time. The food was too cold. The food was too cold. Very good. So please check today's school to be able to talk about the conditions of people and things. Very good. So let's move on to today's phrases here. Repeat after me twice. Let's start. There were too many vegetables and not enough meat. There were too many vegetables and not enough meat. 
Okay, one more time. There were too many vegetables and not enough meat. There were too many vegetables and not enough meat. Okay, one more. Next, the food was too cold. 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 Very good. Okay, now let's check today's grammar point here. Repeat after me. To, okay, example, Tom is too young. Not too. Tom is not too young. Enough. Tom is old enough. Not enough. Tom is not old enough. So it's your turn. Could you please read? Tom is too young. Tom is not too young. Tom is old enough. Tom okay. is not yeah. old enough. Hmm. That's right. Thank you so much. Do you have any questions regarding the grammar point, Ken? None so far. None so far. So let's continue. Let's move on to the new words and expressions. So repeat after me twice here. Please repeat. Terrible. 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 Oh, it was terrible. Oh, it was terrible. Oh, it was terrible. Oh, it was terrible. Recommend. 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 I don't recommend it at all. I don't recommend it at all. One more time, I don't recommend it at all. I don't recommend it at all. Order. 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 I ordered some food. I ordered some food. I ordered some food. I ordered some food. Mixed grill. Mixed grill. Mixed grill. Mixed grill. I ordered a 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 mixed grill. Complain. 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 Very good. Okay, did you complain about it? 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 Okay, very good, Ken. So now we've already done with this one, Ken. So do you have any question? Not so far. Not so far. Okay, so let's move on to short conversation here, okay? Let's read the conversation together. Repeat after me. Sarah is talking to her neighbor, Miss Johnson, about the new restaurant in town. Sarah is talking to her neighbor, Mr. Johnson, about the new restaurant in town. How was lunch at Honey Bee's restaurant? How was lunch at Honey Bee's restaurant? Oh, it was terrible. I don't recommend it at all. Oh, it was terrible. I don't recommend it at all. Why? What happened? Why? What happened? I ordered a mixed grill, but there were too many vegetables and not enough meat. I ordered a mixed grill, but there were too many vegetables and not enough meat. Very good. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's too bad. I know and the food was too cold. I know and the food was too cold. Did you complain about it? Did you complain about it? Yeah, we tried to talk to the waiter, but the music in the restaurant was too loud and the waiter probably didn't hear anything. Yeah, we tried to talk to the waiter, but the music in the restaurant was too loud and the waiter probably didn't hear anything. Okay, very good. That's great. So now, this time, let's read the conversation together again with emotions, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's start number one. Sarah is talking to her neighbor, Miss Johnson, about the new restaurant in town. Sarah is talking to her neighbor, Mr. Johnson, about the new restaurant in town. How was lunch at Honey Bee's restaurant? How was lunch at Honey Bee's restaurant? Oh, it was terrible. I don't recommend it at all. Oh, it was terrible. I don't recommend it at all. Why? What happened? Why? What happened? I ordered a mixed grill, but there were too many vegetables and not enough meat. I ordered a mixed grill, but there were too many vegetables and not enough meat. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's too bad. I know, and the food was too cold. I know, and the food was too cold. Did you complain about it? Did you complain about it? Yeah, we tried to talk to the waiter, but the music in the restaurant was too loud and the waiter probably didn't hear anything. Yeah, we tried to talk to the waiter, but the music in the restaurant was too loud and the waiter probably didn't hear anything. Very good. So now let's do our role play right now. I will be Sarah and you will be Miss Johnson, okay? Okay. 
Okay, so let's start. Sarah is talking to her neighbor, Miss Johnson, about the new restaurant in town. How was lunch at Honey Bee's restaurant? Oh, it was terrible. I don't recommend it at all. Why? What happened? I ordered a mixed grill, but there were too many vegetables and not enough meat. Oh, that's too bad. I know, and the food was too cold. Did you complain about it? Yeah, we tried to talk to the waiter, but the music in the restaurant was too loud and the waiter probably didn't hear anything. Okay, very good. So now it's our time now to switch the rules. So I'm, I will be Miss Johnson and you will be Sarah, okay? Okay. Okay, so please start. Sarah is talking to her neighbor, Miss Johnson, about the new restaurant in town. How was lunch at Honey Bee's restaurant? Oh, it was terrible. I don't recommend it at all. Why? What happened? I ordered a mixed grill, but there were too many vegetables and not enough meat. Oh, that's too bad. I know, and the food was too cold. Did you complain about it? Yeah, we tried to talk to the waiter, but the music in the restaurant was too loud and the waiter probably didn't hear anything. Okay, very good. So now we've already done with this one here, Ken. So, do you have any questions regarding the short conversation? Not so far. Not so far. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, so there are three questions here. So, let's start number one. How's the new restaurant? Mm, uh, it was terrible. Yes, yeah, so very good. So, it was a terrible. That's correct. Next, what happened to Miss Johnson in the restaurant? Mm, uh, she ordered a mixed grill. Uh, when she ordered a mixed grill, it was too many uh, too vegetables. There yeah. were two vegetables yeah, and yes, not enough meat. Yes, that's right. Okay, so instead of using the it was, so you're correct, you're using the word there were because there are many vegetables, so there were too many vegetables and not enough meat and the food was uh, cold. Too, cold. too cold. Okay, that's great. Number three, did she complain about the service? Yes, yeah, she did, but uh, the music in the restaurant was too loud, so the waiter didn't hear anything okay yes that's correct okay very good so now we've already done with this one so we will have some exercises here please check the directions look at the following pictures make sentences using two and enough very good okay so let's try to have the example part okay okay the pizza was not warm enough the pizza was too cold Okay, very good. Now let's try to have the second one. Monica is not strong enough to carry her suitcase. Mm. Uh, she is too weak. Yes, that's mm. right. She is too weak to carry to her suitcase. That's correct. So she is too weak to carry her suitcase. Number two, Michael is too young to drive a car. Michael is not enough old to drive a car. Okay, could you please rearrange the word? Not old enough. Not old enough. Okay. Yeah, so could you please say it again? Michael. Michael is not old enough to drive a car. Okay, very good. So next, Rebecca is not too short for a woman. Rebecca is... It's not, uh, Rebecca, it's tall enough for a woman. Oh, yes, very good. So, Rebecca is tall enough for a woman. Very good. Next, let's continue. Thomas is not skinny enough to be a model. Thomas is too fat to be a model. Yes, that's correct. So, Thomas is too fat to be a model. Next, Emma is too sick to go to work today. Emma... Emma is not well enough to go to work today. Yes, you are correct. So Emma is not well enough to go to work today. Next. Barbara is not too slow for an amateur runner. 
Barbara is too fast for an amateur runner. Okay, so instead of using the word tooth, also we are going to use use the word enough. So Barbara ah. is fast enough. Ah, okay. Could you please say it again, Barbara? Barbara is fast enough for an amateur runner. Yes, that's right. Okay, very good. So now let's continue. We've already done with this one. So let's try to practice this as again. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's start here. Number one, not including the example. Here is it. Monica is not strong enough to carry her suitcase. Monica is too weak to carry her suitcase. Okay, very good. Michael is too young to drive a car. Michael is not old enough to drive a car. Next, Rebecca is not sh too short for a woman. Rebecca is tall enough for a woman. Very good. Thomas is not skinny enough to be a model. Thomas is too fat to be a model. Very good. Emma is too sick to go to work today. Emma is not well enough to go to work today. Last one, Barbara is not too slow for an amateur runner. Barbara is fast enough for an amateur runner. Okay, very good, Ken. So we've already done with this one. So do you have any questions regarding the exercise part, Ken? Not so far. Not so far. Okay, so let's start. Okay, let's move on here to the free conversation. So we are going to use the phrases right now, the to, not to, and not enough and not enough so let's try to have here the first talk about yourself or any new gadget you can think of a new smartphone etc and talk about their condition so let's start i'm long enough to block hmm. uh, i'm i'm not i'm not smart enough to speak English fluently. Oh, I see. I'm not smart enough to speak English fluently. Mm, that's very, very good. Something like, example, what else? Hmm. It's too narrow to live in the house. Yeah, it's too narrow to live in the house. Very good. How about the last one? There are, there are two. Uh, they're too cold. Ah, there are there are two vegetables and not enough meat. Yeah, there are two vegetables and not enough meat. Okay, very good. Congratulations to you again. You were able to finish already the free conversation here and you did it great because you were able to follow the patterns regarding with our grammar points. So now this is the end of our today's lesson. Do you have any questions regarding all the lessons? Not so far none so far okay because we were already done here with our first uh with our lesson so we still have 11 minutes left would you like to go back to some exercise or would you like to go to the next lesson let's go to the next lesson okay so could you please okay choose the next one yeah Okay, so which restaurant are we going to for lunch? So, it's grammar beginner number 47. So, let's have the, here the goal. Please check the goal. To be able to specify things in our conversation. Okay, very good. So, let's move on to today's phrases, okay? Repeat after me twice. Let's start. Which restaurant are we going to for lunch? 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 Which are you talking about? The, the navy one or the black one? Which are you talking about? The navy one or the black one? Very good. One more time. Which are you talking about? The navy one or the black one? Which are you talking about? The navy one or the black one? Very good. So now let's to check today's grammar point it's all about which one so meaning choices so i'm going to read this for you which one it is used when you specify a thing or things among more than two things example which restaurant are we going to for lunch and which do you want the white one or the red one can okay. you please read 
Which restaurant are we going to for lunch? Which do you want? The white one or the red one? Okay, very good. Okay, so now do you have any questions regarding the cover point? Not so far. Okay, very good. So now let's move on to new words and expressions here. Repeat after me twice. Please say one. 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 Which one? The navy one or the black one? Which one? The navy one or the black one? Which one? The navy one or the black one? Which one? The navy one or the black one? Feminine. 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 The white one is a little too feminine. The white one is a little too feminine. One more time. The white one is a little too feminine. The white one is a little too feminine. Mediterranean. 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 Let's go to the Mediterranean restaurant. 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 According to. According to. According to. According to. According to Sarah, their pies are good. According to Sarah, their pies are good. One more time. According to Sarah, their pies are good. According to Sarah, their pies are good. Serve. 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 They serve the best pies. 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 The best pies. Very good. Definitely. 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 We should definitely check the place out. 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 Very good. Okay, so now we've already done with this one. Let's move on to short conversation here. So this time, let's read the conversation together. So I'll repeat. Olivia is shopping with her daughter Lila this morning. Olivia is shopping with her daughter Lila this morning. What do you think about this wallet? What do you think about this wallet? The navy one or the black one? The navy one or the black one? The navy one, it's for your father. The navy one, it's for your father. The black one looks nice. The navy one is a little too feminine for dad. The black one looks nice. The navy one is a little too feminine for dad. Yeah, I thought so too. I'll get the black one. Yeah, I thought so too. I'll get the black one. Hey mom, which restaurant are we going to for lunch today? Hey mom, which restaurant are we going to for lunch today? Let's try the Mediterranean restaurant. According to Sarah, they serve the best pies. Let's try the new Mediterranean restaurant. According to Sarah, they serve the best pies. Really? I love pies. We should definitely check the place out then. Really? I love pies. We should definitely check the, that place out then. Very good. So now let's read it again. Olivia is shopping with her daughter Lila this morning. What do you think about this wallet? What do you think about this wallet? Which one? The navy one or the black one? Which one? The navy one or the black one? The navy one. It's for your father. The navy one. It's for your father. The black one looks nice. The navy one is a little too feminine for dad. The black one looks nice. The navy one is a little too feminine for that. Yeah, I thought so too. I'll get the black one. Yeah, I thought so too. I'll get the black one. Hey mom, which restaurant are we going to for lunch today? Hey mom, which restaurant are we going to for lunch today? Let's try the new Mediterranean restaurant. According to Sarah, they serve the best pies. Let's try the new Mediterranean restaurant. According to Sarah, they serve the best pies. Really? I love pies. We should definitely check the place out then. Really? I love pies. We should definitely check that place out then. Very good. Okay, so now we've already done with this one. So let's do a role play right now. I will be Olivia and you will be Lila. Okay? Okay. So let's start. Olivia is shopping with her daughter Lila this morning. What do you think about this wallet? Which one? The navy one or the black one? The navy one. It's for your father. The black one looks nice. The navy one is a little too feminine for that. Yeah, I thought so too. I'll get the black one. Hey ma'am, which restaurant are we going to for lunch today? 
Let's try the new Mediterranean restaurant. According to Sarah, they serve the best pies. Really? I love pies. We should definitely check the place out there. Okay, very good. So now let's switch rules. I will be now Lila and you will be Olivia, okay? okay. So let's start. It's our turn. Olivia is shopping with her total leader this morning. What do you think about this wallet? Which one? The navy one or the black one? The navy one. It's for your father. The black one looks nice. The navy one is a little too feminine for dad. Yeah, I thought so too. I'll get the black one. Hey mom, which restaurant are we going to for lunch today? Let's try the new Mediterranean restaurant. According to Sarah, they serve the best pies. Really? I love pies. We should definitely check the place out then. Okay, very good. So now we've already done with this. Do you have any question? Not so far. Not so far. Okay, so let's move on to the questions part. Okay, so let's try to have number one. Which wallet did Olivia choose and why? Which wallet did Olivia choose and why? She chose uh, a black wallet because yes. it looks it looked nice. The black one looks nice. Yes, very good. So Olivia chose the black one because it looks like nice and because the navy one looks a little feminine for her husband. So that is why he chose or she I mean she chose the black one. Very good. Let's move on to number two. Which restaurant are they going to for lunch? They are going to go to the Mediterranean the new Mediterranean restaurant for lunch. Yes, very good. So they're going to try the new Mediterranean restaurant for lunch. Number three. So what's so special about the restaurant? They serve the best pies. Yeah, very good. So the special thing about the restaurant is that according to Sarah, they serve the best pies. Okay, very good. Okay, good job. So now let's continue to the exercise part. So please change your... Okay, so check the the instruction hmm. look at the following pictures supply the missing questions and answers okay that's right okay so now this time let's try to read the example first mm -hmm. can you show me the tie which tie the blue one the black one or the white one very good the blue one please can you show me that can you can you show me the hat which had the black one or the brown one? Okay, that's right. Okay, so the brown one, please. Can you show me the dress, please? Which dress? Uh, a red, the red one or the pink one? Okay, very good. Um, the red one, please. Which shoes do you want? I... Ah, the green one, please. Okay, very good. So, or you can also say, I want the green ones. Once, because shoes are plural, so that's green ah, ones. Okay. Okay, I want the green ones. Okay. Okay, next, let's continue. Which tea did you drink? Yes, very good. Which tea did you drink? I drank the green tea. Which terminal are they taking? They are going to take Terminal E. Okay, they are, oh yeah, they take Terminal A or they are taking Terminal E. Uh -huh. So just the same, they take Terminal E and they are taking Terminal E. Okay. Okay, mm. okay that's one. Which car did she drive? Okay, she drove her red car. Very good. Now, let's move on to our free conversation right now. Okay, so let's continue. When you usually go out, which mode of transportation do you take? Is it car, train, cab, or etc.? Uh, we, I think we don't have enough time. Oh, yes, we don't have enough time. I just want to say thank you so much for doing great for today. Thanks so just much. Have, have a nice day to you. Bye-bye.
ネイティブキャンプは月額で受け放題のオンライン英会話です。概要欄に公式サイトへのリンクを貼っておきます。